Hello, I'm Megan O'Hara Sullivan. I'm the Chair of the Planning and Development Portfolio here at Council. The Planning and Development Group will refresh the vision and planning framework for our region's future. Three major strategic projects will be our focus over several years, including establishing a regional growth plan, preparing the new planning scheme and reviewing the local government infrastructure plan. There will be multiple chances for the community and interested stakeholders to have your say about the region's future. The Regional Growth Plan is the foundation document that will establish a coordinated and sustainable long-term population and employment growth strategy for our region. The new planning scheme will be prepared over four stages starting in 2021 to provide a clear set of planning principles to improve how development will be managed. Our key strategies that contribute to our livability include a climate action strategy. Council will establish a clear policy position to inform strategic land use and infrastructure planning and sustainable design. The green infrastructure implementation. The next phase will focus on integrating the strategy as part of the new planning scheme and auditing and mapping green infrastructure across the region. Council will work to attract investment in urban renewal and city centre projects, including accelerated inner city living opportunities. The 10 year review of the city centre master plan will be a refresh of our plan for a more vibrant CBD. Council will use its design specialist to promote excellence in architecture and urban design, heritage conservation and landscape architecture. The Development Services Branch is rolling out an improved service delivery model with the issuing of draft conditions, refined pre-lodgement processes and the establishment of a major projects protocol to assist in speeding up the approvals process. I'm really proud to be the chair of this portfolio, particularly at this exciting time where we're developing a new planning scheme. Hi, I'm Councillor Bill Carl. Council will undertake a major review of the Local Government Infrastructure Plan. The revised LGIP will include a 10 to 15 year plan to service the needs of our growing communities with essential infrastructure. This provides transparency around Council's provision of that trunk infrastructure that is required to service the growth in an efficient and orderly manner. The LGIP identifies trunk infrastructure, water, sewerage, stormwater, transports, parks and community facilities that are required to service urban development at the desired standard of our community's needs. Council will encourage regional business activity and assist the recovery of small business in our regional towns. We will continue to assist our small businesses throughout our community in the delivery of training to target their specific recovery needs. Our Community and Economic Development Grant Program is aimed at building the capacity of regional groups. The Temporary Economic Development Incentives for District Townships provides supports and encourages investment to support and maintain our vibrant regional districts. Council is continuing the temporary incentives policy to target substantial investment and stimulate CBD projects aligned with the City Centre Master Plan and Railway Parklands Priority Development Area. The Regional Skills and Investment Strategy funded by Queensland Government will continue to address vocational skills requirements for the three key industries across our region. The next phase of the Central High Fields Structure Plan involves the preparation of an investment strategy to ensure the plan's benefits are realised. We are grateful for the input provided by the community in the preparation of these plans.